Hey YouTube, thanks for stopping by the channel and thanks for clicking play. Today we are at Injected Engineering in Kennesaw, Georgia, and I've got a good video for you. You guys saw my video I did recently where I did driving impressions of the Solar 87 and the Solar 91 millimeter throttle bytes after I swapped them in the garage, took it out and did a blast record it just to give you actual driving impressions and they were they, they were a big difference. But everybody wants to know, what do they make on the dyno? Now I know the dyno is not everything, dyno numbers are not the end all be all, but it's still nice to have a comparison and kind of see if you're going to pick up any power. Now my car currently only has the uh, ported intake manifold and the Paragon cat back. So this will be representative of what you'll get from a mostly stock car. So I'm excited today to get in there and we're going to get those. We're going to put it on the dyno. We're going to do the 80 or uh, the stock pull stock throttle bodies. I did put those back on yesterday before I came down here. Um, and then the 87s and then the 91s. We're going to get the dyno numbers. So we're going to leave the car and we're going to make sure we get it done as quickly as we can so we can get the same air in the same conditions. It's pretty good air today. So I'm hoping we make some good power. If you haven't already, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Help us keep growing this channel and help us keep bringing you good content like this. So while we're waiting to get in real quick, I just want to show you guys these are the stock throttle bodies. I'll show you a picture of those when we get them off uh, to run those. Uh, so there's the stock gym. I did put those back on yesterday. And then here for today for testing, we have a set of the 87s from solar. And we have a set of the 91s from solar that we're gonna be putting on the car and testing. So we're actually gonna strap it to the dyno. We're gonna do the baseline pull here with just the ported manifold and the cat back from Paragon. Get our baseline numbers. We're gonna uh, loosen the couplers, push the couplers back, change the throttle bodies, put on the 87s, put on the 91s, make our pulls, and see uh, what kind of numbers we make. Uh, also forgot to mention, I do have the even cherry cold air intake, but again, all this will be done with um, the same mods, right? And we're same dyno, same day, same air, same conditions. We're going to strap it on. We're not going to take it off. So that way we can get best apples to apples between each one uh, and go from there. So excited. They're pulling the cars out now so we can get in and get on, the, get strapped on the dyno and get cracking. And uh, we'll see uh, what kind of numbers we make, guys. All right, guys, well, we're strapped down to the dyno here. We're about to get it plugged in and start getting our baseline runs. Then we're going to swap from the stock to the 87s to the 91s. We're going to just leave it right here strapped to the dyno. We're going to do as quickly as possible so our air is about the same. Our DA is not great today. We just calculated us about 2,000. The humidity is a little high. The temperature is okay, so they'll all be documented. We'll have it on there. We'll have the data up on the graph so that way you guys have it. But just looking at this, to be honest with you guys, you know, DH, so where our baseline numbers are going to come in a little lower than the last time we did. I'm guessing like low 600s, 605 or so, something like that, maybe 610. We'll see. But that's not the point on the baseline. It's just see if we actually pick anything up with these throttle bodies. So hang tight, guys. We're going to get going. data logging and you know brandon i got to give him credit for this got me this information but we did temperature humidity lambda you know barometric pressure so we have all the data and we're posting them so we just finished out changing um you'll see over here stock throttle bodies are out okay stock throttle bodies are out and we have the 91 still in here 87s in the car so we're going to run the 87s now and see what we make.
All right, so 87s are done. Good results, can't wait to post them for you. Again, we are at 2000 DA, it's a little bit hotter. The first time we did our throttle body comparison here as far as just the 87s versus the stock, we made more power, I think we made like 15, but a lot worse air today. I think we were in hero air basically the first time we did that in the fall where the DA was like 600 or something, but we did make power, we still made power. We're gonna throw the 91s on here in just a second and we're gonna let it cool and we're gonna hit it again and we're gonna see what the 91s throw down. So hang with us guys, this has been a blast today. I love dyno days at Injected Engineering. I love wrenching. I love the sound of the car on the dyno and these guys are great to work with. All right, so you guys can see 87s, stock throttle bodies, and we now have the 91s on. Now these were the ones I was running at the bash. So if you got a ride in my car at the bash, these are the ones I was running, but now we have the 91s on. We're going to dyno these. We're going to see. Uh, we made good power with the 87s, but we're going to see what we pick up at Watt, which they flow a lot better at Watt. Uh, not really necessarily on the curve, but at Watt, and that's where we're going to dyno it at. All right, so we just finished swapping out the 91s. So the 87s are off the car, made good power. 91s are on now. Now, they do flow better at Watt for um, you know kind of the, the way it's set up, that 91 millimeter effective area. Um, and we're gonna see what power they make now. I'm happy with the 87s guys for the price the 87s Especially if you send your cords in like 550. I think it is you can't beat that dude Like that is the best value going and for the amount of power you make that's an absolute bargain guys All right, uh, he is about to fire it up with the 91s on it. We're gonna see what they make guys. I'm excited I was really happy with what we made on the 87s. I'm not gonna lie like for that price for that you can't beat it man I'm not gonna tell you what it was yet guys. I'm not gonna tell you what it was. All right, but we're gonna get another one here and you're gonna see, I'm so excited. All right, YouTube, well, that's it, man. Those are the results. Great results, man. We couldn't be happier with the 87s for the value. 91s were absolutely amazing for the power they make, the way they make the car feel. You guys have already seen that. Again, nothing much more. I'm gonna go over the grass for you. Uh, earlier, I'm gonna put those in the video. Again, I'm gonna go over those if you haven't seen them, but if 
already if you haven't like share and subscribe help us keep bringing you good content like this we are going to be offering these with a package with our manifolds as well so look for that on our website thanks solar for you know cooperating with us we did buy these though i want to put that out there that we were not given these i did pay for these and we're going to be offering them through our website as well but i paid for these we're testing these independently just putting numbers out there so you guys can see what they do that's it until we see you next time stay safe all right lest you not believe Got to show you my uh, blisters here from leaving it on the dyno <laughs> and changing out those throttle bodies and catching the blazing hot catalytic converters. Um, but we, did, we didn't show the swap on it, but I just kind of like noticed this as I was getting uh, ready for getting into work today that, uh, yeah, there you go. Proof.